The teenage girl was charged with manslaughter and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon after she crashed an ATV last September that killed one of her friends and seriously injured another one. Now, in a surprise twist, the presiding judge, Jay Bonner Dorsey, granted a directed verdict after the state presented their evidence. In the morning, we heard from the state trooper who wrote the accident report, the owners of the ATV, another friend involved in the accident, as well as the teachers, as this girl's driver's ed instructor. But the judge concluded the prosecution failed to present any evidence that would justify putting it in the hands of a jury. So he made a decision to acquit the girl of the charges. A tragic situation and uh, uh, nothing will bring back the girls, the girl who died or, or take away the pain everyone has suffered, but uh, uh, I don't think it was properly a case for criminal prosecution and based on the evidence that I saw. So that's the reason I gave a directed verdict, yes. Dorsey says this is actually the first time he's ever issued or granted a directed verdict. He says that while this girl may have been reckless, that there was no evidence to prove that she actually understood the dangers that came from driving an ATV. Therefore, she can't be held accountable. Live from Raymondville, I'm Brett Crandall for Action 4 News.